Welcome to Fast Draw 101. I'm Howard Darby, and today we're taking a look at hand judging and shooting line procedures at a competition. Shooters on the line. Shooters set. At pretty much every sanctioned Fast Draw contest you participate in, you'll find that not only are hand judges watching the shooters, but that you'll also be expected to take your turn as a hand judge. This role is very important in the sport as it helps keep the contest safe and on a level playing field for all involved. In this video I'd like to give you an overview of what the hand judge role entails so you're prepared to shoot in your first contest. This will also be a good reference for new shooters to understand some of the rules you'll be expected to follow at a fast rock contest. However, this video is not comprehensive and it's recommended to read the rules of the association you're shooting with to better understand what's expected as a competitor and a hand judge. Many of these guidelines are common sense, so don't get stressed that you have to remember a lot of things. Simply conducting yourself in a safe and responsible manner will help to make your fast draw experience a successful one. One thing to remember is that the range officer and other contest officials are always happy to explain the rules and hand judging rules to new shooters. We were all new to the sport at some point, so we're well aware that new shooters will have questions and can use help understanding how to participate in fast draw in a safe and productive manner. Your hand judging duties will take place either the round before or the round after you shoot, hand judging the contestant in the same shooting position as you immediately prior or following your shooting round. A reminder about hand judging will probably be given at the shooters meeting at the start of the day or you can ask a contest official to make sure how it will work. Your first duty as a hand judge is to help the shooter coming to the line. You can help them adjust their target if it's a blank event and make sure the shooter doesn't unholster their gun until the range officer has given the load and make ready command. Even then, be aware of what's going on around you and have the shooter put their gun in the holster if someone inadvertently heads down range. When the make ready command has been given, you can help the shooter by handing them their shells. When the shooter gets into the position to shoot, check they have their eye protection. Also check that their feet are behind the shooting line. Usually you'll find there's a seat available for the hand judge. It's best to sit so as not to block the view of the announcer, range officer, and audience. You want to be able to see the gun hand clearly, but not close enough to be a distraction to the shooter. Make sure to position yourself so you can see the shooter's hand as well as the target and light, because one of your main duties is to make sure they don't draw until after the light comes on. Normally a distance of 5 to 10 feet behind and slightly off to the gun side of the shooter works best. As you watch the shooter load and unload their gun, make sure they don't break the 170 degree rule. If you see them holding the gun so it points down the shooting line, immediately let them know they need to point down range. While the shooter is waiting for the light, as the hand judge you are watching for two things. Starting the draw before the light comes on, and the trigger finger entering the trigger guard while waiting for the light. Here's an example of a shooter flinching and starting to draw prior to the light coming on, but then trying to recover and drawing on the light. This is illegal and is an automatic loss of shot, since the gun is not supposed to move in the holster after the set signal has been given and they're waiting for the light. However, be aware that shooters sometimes flinch when they're waiting for the light. This is okay as long as they don't actually start drawing the gun. In the example here, even though the gun and holster both move, they move together and the draw is not started. In this case, the shooter would not lose the shot as they did not move the gun in the holster before the light came on. You may notice that the trigger finger creeps towards the trigger while the shooter is waiting for the light to come on. This is okay as long as the finger does not enter the trigger guard. In this example, the finger does enter the trigger guard before the light comes on. Once the shooter command is given and the shooter is waiting for the light, do not interrupt them if you see an infraction. If you see them move their gun or put their finger in the trigger guard, you would mention it to the shooter and range officer after the shot has been fired. Moving of the gun before the light comes on results in a loss of shot, even if the gun is put back before the light came on. For a finger in the trigger guard, the shooter gets one warning, then if they do it again, they will lose a shot. The only time a hand judge should interrupt while a shooter is waiting for the light is for a severe safety violation. For example, if a child were to wander past the ropes and enter the shooting area, a hand judge who noticed it should immediately speak up and stop the round. When the shooting round is over, the range officer will give the unload and show clear command. Unload and show clear. At this point, you should move to the shooter's side to watch them unload and make sure they show you the unloaded cylinder. Once you've checked the gun, give the command gun clear, hammer down and holster and make sure they do put the gun in the holster with the hammer down. Clear 
When inspecting the unloaded gun, make sure you can actually see the empty chambers clearly. Some people spin the cylinder so fast you can't see it, so have them slow down so you can confirm there are no shells in the gun. If it's your first contest, make sure to watch how others are hand judging to get a feel for how it's done. And again, check the specific rules for the organization you're shooting with, and please keep in mind that the range officer and other contest officials are ready to help explain what's expected of you as a hand judge, so don't hesitate to ask. And most of all, remember that you're helping to make FASTRA a safe and fun sport for everyone.